It has been announced that voting to elect Italy's new president will begin on the 24th of January at 3 p.m. What normally happens is that 1,009 people gather in the lower house. There are no official candidates in Italy's presidential elections. Lawmakers cast their secret ballots and they can vote for anyone as long as they're aged 50 or over and they are Italian uh, citizens. Normally voting can drag on for several rounds until a winner emerges. But given the pandemic, um, most probably uh, one uh, round a day will take place starting from the 24th of January. Now, the question here is whether Mario Draghi will remain the country's prime minister, whether he'll choose to become a president, given that he's been floated as the front runner uh, to succeed Sergio Mattarella. In his final press conference of 2021, he said, I stay at the service of the state. He didn't disclose much information with regards to his political uh, future, but in a way or the other, the outcome could undermine the stability of the ruling uh, coalition. It depends also on how uh, it manages the presidential electoral process, given that Draghi has been appointed to lead a broad coalition formed by several uh, political uh, parties. As of now, the ruling coalition has not yet agreed on a um, alternative, uh, on a candidate really, uh, to replace Mario Draghi. The only person that has expressed his will to run for president is former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. And although he's being backed by the centre-right uh, coalition, it's unlikely that he will win enough support. And several people took to the streets here in the capital, Rome, on Monday to protest against his potential appointment. But if on the one hand, um, Silvio Berlusconi's interest uh, uh, in running for president seems to be less of a concern both for Italians and uh, lawmakers. Uh, on the other, it's uh, Italy's political and economic stability that matters both to Italians and to Europe. Giorgio Orlandi, Euronews in Rome.